Christie was this kind of unassuming, you know, middle-class lady. She knew extensively about murder, and you have to wonder how and why. <laughs> I think she was a dark horse. People often ask me what made me take up right. You see, I put it all down to the fact that I never had any education, and there's nothing like boredom to make you write. She um, famously didn't attend school, um, and her mother didn't want her to read until she was seven or eight, but she secretly taught herself to read, and then kind of, I think, spent most of her time self-educating. the time I was 21, I'd finished The Mysterious Affair at Styles. Almost by accident, Agatha Christie is becoming a writer, and she has a commission for five more books. The murder of Roger Ackroyd has been a very exciting them. All of the pieces of the puzzle are in place. It's always seemed odd to me that Murder of Roger Ackroyd comes out this great triumph in 1926 because that was the year her life went so spectacularly wrong. It started with the death of her mother. Archie arrived. He had been on a business trip in Spain when her mother died. He told her that he was in love with Nancy Neal. I mean, Archie couldn't have chosen a worse moment. I mean, the media reaction to this was extraordinary. In some ways, this catapulted her to another level of fame. It was a massive story. Thousands of people um, went round the country searching for her. Lakes were dredged, all those kind of things. Now, exactly what happened between her leaving Sunningdale and turning up in Harrogate, no one knows. It's actually a bigger mystery than any of her books. about you know, that part of the world and decided that she'd like to go there. I think this sums up a kind of adventurous spirit. It was on that journey that I realized that she would make a wonderful companion in life. Archaeology is something that pops up time and time again. She, she felt particularly happy on archaeological duty. Are you writing at the moment or not? That'll be actual moment. Well, I've obviously got lazy now, I'm 83. I always think of two Agatha Christie's. There is Agatha Christie, the, the kind of global figure, and then there is what we in our family referred to as Nima. She was a lovely, warm, kind person. The more I learn about her, the more I read her, actually the more admiration I have, and, and actually then the more pride I have. One of those curious little facts, money.